In the current economic crisis in central Greece, the problem of fuel is huge. Uh, petrol prices and oil prices are very, very high. Uh, people aren't on the mains gas system and they, they have uh, great problems heating their homes during the winter, especially through the oil um, central heating. They just cannot afford it at the moment, so they need an alternative form of energy. They're using the photovoltaic solar energy on their houses in order to heat the water at least, and now for electricity. But the bigger programs which are on their fields, and actually in their, a lot of them have put over parts of their gardens to photovoltaic panels, um, do not actually go into their house. It's sent back into the national grid and back it's then transported to other areas of Greece and indeed abroad. So the problem there is that they still need an alternative form of energy. And the last winter, 2012 to 13, 2013, saw them revert to actually um, burning wood and burning anything they could get their hands on to try to keep warm. We wanted to see whether the uh, photovoltaic program in Greece, which photovoltaics are a type of solar energy, which can be transferred into electricity and then spread through the national grid, uh, whether the policy on the governmental level was actually affecting on, on the, effective on the local level. So we needed to have a look at many different things. We looked at the macro scale policy for um, exporting photovoltaic solar energy to the rest of Europe, um, which was seen as a saviour of the Greek state to de decrease national debt, pay back some of the deficit. And then we had to look at the smaller installations on, on land, on private land, and then also on people's houses. There's three, three different levels of solar energy program in Greece at the time. There are many stumbling blocks of the solar program in Greece. One of the ones is that the European Union policy and the Greek government policy is not disseminated properly to the local people. So they actually hear about this by word of mouth rather than actually a bureaucratic, through bureaucratic channels. And some of the bureaucrats in the local government actually do not know what the European Union policy is or the governmental policy on this and wait to hear from the agriculturalists or the locals themselves about the policy. There's great suspicion about uh, who's got vested interests in the solar programme. There's a lot of the Greek energy companies are being bought off by Germans. A lot of the technology is actually from Germany, from Israel, from Sweden, from outside of Greece. And when their people are putting this onto their land or into the, on their houses, they're feeling it's a, it's a form of occupation from an external other against. So they're very suspicious about the ulterior motives of not only the Greek state, but also other interested parties in the solar program. I think policymakers actually have to try to understand the locals' perspectives on this. It's a lot more complex historically. Um, for example, the issues of the land. If people are putting uh, photovoltaic solar panels on their land, there's a whole history of land ownership in central Greece, which dates back to, to the late 1800s with the breakup of the great landed estates, the Chiflikia, as they were known, whereby people fought and fought the peasant revolutions, um, revolts in order to actually get private property, and now they feel that's being taken away from them again. It's being, they can no longer use it for crop production, they can no use it for, longer use it for subsistence, but instead they're having to put these foreign, big foreign photovoltaic solar panels on their land. And um, they, that's obviously something which the history of that, that uh, policymakers don't take into account. Uh, so it's an ongoing project. We've, we've applied for more funding on that. We're now applying for a European Union grant to take this further. And we're also taking the perspective further away from Greece. So we're looking at other crises, economic crisis-stricken nations in the Mediterranean, like Spain and Italy, and also seeing what role countries like Turkey and Israel are having to play in this. So it's a southern European Mediterranean project and we are expanding on that.